so hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mass code at this side so the problem of the day is minimum sum the problem is actually very simple the problem says that you have been given an array this is your array right from this array you have to form two arrays two arrays array one and array two right such that if you sum these two arrays the sum which which we recover is minimum is minimum for example in the case of 6 8 4 5 2 3 as an array so your two arrays can be 6 8 and another array can be 4 5 2 3 now these two arrays this is my array 1 this is my array 2 and these two arrays are representing two arrays so if I sum them up 8 plus 3 gives me 11 so 1 here 1 here 1 plus 6 plus 2 gives me 9 5 4 so the sum for this configuration with this this is array 1 and this is array 2 is 4 5 9 1 now I have to form the array such that the sum this sum comes out to be minimum and I have to turn the sum return the sum in form of a string in form of a string that is 4 5 9 1 has to be returned in form of a string and we have to remove leading zeros also remove leading zeros right i hope i am clear i hope i am clear so i was not able to discover a brute force approach but i guess the brute force approach will be to form out all the pairs form out all the configurations how make all the subsequences make all the configuration make all the permutations right for all the permutation now how will you form all the confirmations for all the permutations make all the subsequences that means it takes o of 2 to the power n time for making all the permutations in that it will be taking o of 2 to the power n to form the subsequence and in that to add them up it will take o of n time so it is actually o of 2 to the power n right 2 to the power n into 2 to the power n uh, into n right so it is very much complicated right it is very much complicated for each case in 2 to the power n we are taking o 2 to the power n into n time right or not n it is plus right something like this very complicated right will not be asked so what is the optimized approach what is the approach i thought of so approach to for that you have to understand some basic mathematics hundreds tens ones right in mathematics what does happen so suppose i have a number 423 then what does it mean this is occurring at ones place this is occurring at tens place this is occurring at hundreds place right now i have to do the minimum sum i know that the array contains only integers and there is no negative integers Neg integers are lying in the range of 0 to 9 it is mentioned in the question ne there is no negative integer all right now minimum sum that means a plus b now to get a plus b as low as possible i have to reduce a i have to reduce b right i have to reduce a i have to reduce b okay first thing now in the question 423 which element is get taking most weightage which element is taking most weightage obviously we know 4 is taking most weightage because it is 100 place that means the more the element is on the right side the more the element is on the right side the more weightage it gets right that means to reduce these numbers i have to put the lowest number on this side i have to put lowest number on right lowest number on right that is the lowest configuration here will be 2 at 100 place then the next smaller number is 3 then the next smaller number is 4 so 234 is the lowest configuration i can get of 423 now coming back to the example test case again it is 684523 six eight four five two three we know for a fact that we have to arrange them in the low to high order that means i have to sort them so first step is to sort that will be taking n log n time right after sorting the array would look something like uh, two three four five six eight right now i have to get a plus b now suppose i have a number that takes all these three integers 2 3 4 and the number 5 6 8 now 
it is not making any sense right because i have to provide this number three and this number two the most priority so what i have to do is i have to take this number in one number this number in second number this number in first number this number in second this number in first this number in second this is actually working in a greedy symmetry greedy symmetry based algorithm this is a greedy symmetry based algorithm i hope you are getting my point so what will i do i will keep a pointer here i will make my number one i will make my number two for the number one it is two here then it is three here then it is four here then it is five here then it is six here then it is eight here suppose there is also a number nine so i will add nine here and i will leave as it is the below one right that is not a problem for me right i hope you get you are getting my point so two four six nine is my first number second number is three five eight okay why did i choose to get nine to the first number not the second number because by convention because of the sorting this number this two is actually smaller than nine, uh, three this two is actually smaller than three so adding a number in the lower part will actually give me uh, less number right so that was a point okay so i formed two arrays first array is two four six let me remove nine for some while second number is three five eight right okay now what will i do i will just add them up now adding is just simple what will i do so i have an array two four six let me write it down two four six second array is three five eight now the addition goes something like this right first we add the ones number then the tens then the hundreds right instead of going backward i would like to go in this direction so what will i do i will reverse the arrays reverse the two arrays reverse the two array so what will i do after reversing it will become six four two and eight five three now simply add them up and store it in a different array let's suppose i am storing them in a different array suppose this is my different array right what will happen six plus eight give me 14 i will keep a four here and carry the one here one plus four plus five gives me 10 i will keep 10 zero here and i will pass on one one plus two plus three gives me six so number becomes four zero six but is it is in reverse order so reverse it again six zero four suppose it would have been zero zero because we are reversing it so what would the array look like it would look like zero zero six zero four so what will you do you will remove these leading zeros remove the leading zeros that is also possible right i will keep my eye here and i will keep uh plusing it until i reach a point where it is non-zero right suppose all the elements are zero this is an answer array in that case simply return zero as your answer that's all right so i have 604 in my hand i will just make the string out of it and i will return the answer right uh, rest of the things you will see in the code because i know you are getting confused at how to add them up that is a different question altogether i've solved it multiple times on my youtube channel for the linked list as well for the vector as well so i'm not in a mood to discuss it so let us see the code and i will make sure that you understand it through the code only right let us move to the coding section here is the coding section guys so let us start with the code without discussing anything else so arr.begin we are sorting the array first up till arr.end after that i will have to make two different arrays a1 and a2 to actually separate the elements i want in different parts now what will i do i will keep int i equal to zero now while my i is less than arr.size what will i do i will say a1.push back arr i plus plus and now if my i is still less than arr that is it is in inbound then arr dot push back arr of i plus plus right now what after that i have got my arrays so i will reverse the uh, arrays for better facilitation of uh, adding them up i have reversed the first array i have re reversed the second array as well right reverse both the arrays and now i will create an answer array which will ha help me uh, calculate the answer to calculate the sum and then cal uh, make it to the string as well right i equals to zero for the first array for the second array it is a equal to zero and carry equals to zero now while my i is less than a1 dot size and j is less than a2 dot size what will i do i will say my digit equals to a1i plus a2j plus carry now my carry for the next step will be equals to carry equals to digit by 10 
and digit will itself change to digit percentile equals to 10 right this is actually very simple right after that i will just say answer dot push back the digit you got right now for the next operations i want to increment my i also so i will just do the post increment i1 i plus plus j plus plus right now what this is for the part where i and j both are inbounds now if my array 1 contains more elements than my array 2 which will happen in the case of odd number of elements what will happen i will just copy paste this part and i will remove the contribution in the digit from the a2 right i remove this contribution right similarly it will not happen but i am writing for the better piece better code quality if it is if elements from a2 are actually left so in that case removed from the a1 right okay now while a1 is done while j2 is done okay both of them are done but what happens when carry is also left that both the arrays are finished but carry is remaining so what will happen in that case both of them will not contribute anything but carry will contribute right now what will happen i have got all the three so reverse the sum array and now again i equal to zero now while my i is less than a n s dot size and all the leading zeros like i will remove all the leading zero equals to equal to zero in that case just do i plus plus right now if my i has reached the end of the array that means all the elements were zero that means i have to return zero only right now what will happen otherwise if all the elements are not zero that means there were some elements so in that case i have to create a string result which is an empty string right now while a is less than a n s dot size what will happen result plus equals result equals to result plus what will happen let us say plus equals to only i will add zero plus i into it right i will the character i will add the character that is uh, i number of steps a n s i it will be a n s i right now return your result hope the code will work fine and will not give any error okay there is an error what is error let me see guys okay i'm incrementing i here it is a tle that means i'm not incrementing somewhere the point is i'm not incrementing somewhere okay it will be i plus plus i have to increment here also let me try it again it is working fine for the sample test case i hope it will work fine for the hidden test cases as well and running fine so thank you for watching hope you liked it and make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button thank you have a nice day